my peachy people. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome, welcome. If my face is new to your screen, what is up? My name is Alex. If you haven't already, don't forget to click that bell notification so that you can join the streams, not streams, premieres. But anyway, I've been planning to do this video for a really long time. There's been a lot of waiting that has been involved and I wish I could have got it sooner. But we are here today and we're not going to let that stop us. As you can see by the title today, we are trying out some of my favorite Love Island UKs. Some wear bikinis, full costumes, but on a mid to plus size body. Now, if you don't know what Love Island is, it is a very famous dating show that is also in the US, Australia, it could be a few, oh, South Africa as well, we've had one. We have <laughs> and basically people go on the show try and find love they get voted out they get very 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 famous after it but the show has been quite well known for a whitewashing and b only having people of a certain kind of body shape on the show so i am here to try and show y'all and prove to the world that these swimming costumes can still look hot AF on a mid to plus size body. And hopefully this like triggers someone and someone sees this to start putting plus size people on the show because we still hot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It needs to be way more inclusive. I think they've only ever had like one kind of curvy girl that I remember. Her name was Anna. And she was very, very, very mid size. Maybe even like on the cusp of straight standard size but anyway i have one two three four five six seven eight of my favorite swimming cozies from the show and all of them i've kind of included the like og girls mostly so let's get straight into it when i tell you i scoured the internet to try and find these pieces for you. I am not kidding. So the work was done here, but I will let you know down below that there is a site that I used or found that actually has like, it's so helpful. It has all of the swimming costumes that the girls wore on a daily basis. And it's for a whole bunch of different shows as well. And one thing I will tell you for free is that Tasha's bikinis were like the most popular. And I must say, the ones that I was most interested in. So let's start with one of those. If you have watched the show, you will definitely remember this piece from the very first episode. One of the coupling ups was this bad boy right here. So Tash was wearing this gorgeous, gorgeous blue set. My name is Tasha Gary, I'm 23, and I'm originally from North Yorkshire, a model and a dancer. Now I got this from ASOS and I'm going to put all, all the details, how much I paid for it, everything up here for you so you can see. This is quite a unique piece. So here is the top and there is the bottom. And you know when I opened it I got a bit confused because the actual outside is mesh. Well I thought that, that that was supposed to be the inside but anyway. This is like a bandeau kind of top and I think that this neck piece you can wear in a number of ways. It's kind of got like this crisscross corsetti thingy going on over here which you can adjust there. And funny enough it actually has like boning in the side. So I think that this helps with a bit of support and keeping things up and not slipping and sliding all over the place. I think this isn't an extra large if I'm not mistaken. Oh, this was a UK 14. Some of the pieces I did struggle with sizing, so please forgive me, but I was desperado to get these on time. Because everything that the girls wore like sells out like hotcakes. And then the bottom I think is in, let's have a double check, is in a UK 16. So I hope that this fits because I'm sometimes like a 16, 18, but it's got some stretch to it. This is quite like a what's the word I'm looking for? Scary kind of design when you got a foop up because it's pretty much just highlighting everything. There's no real coverage over there, but that is that. And then I think the back is pretty cool. So it's like kind of giving us crack deluxe, but like in the most beautiful way possible. I mean, I'm obsessed with this Colbert clue. <laughs> whole cobalt blue color. Let's see. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Hey guys. Um, so by now you might have noticed that, um, I fucked up. I don't know how because 
As you know, I've been doing this for nearly five years now and I just deleted the files. I thought I transferred them, then there were like one kilobit files. So here we are like a good two weeks later. But that will not stop me from giving you guys the full tea. Everything that I said now is what I said back then. So... I'm sorry. Ah! But is this not the best way to make up for it? Guys, I, I really... I like the design of the bikini and I thought it looked good on Tash, but like... Tash was me two different things, but it looks good on both of us. There is so much give on the fabric, like I was a bit worried that this V-cut was going to be a bit not my favorite style, but I think it absolutely looks stunning. We have a decent amount of coverage on the peach. I love this mesh material. It's something that is different that I don't have. That's not very common for swimming costumes. There's enough coverage over here by the poochie pooch, but the top is definitely the woman of the moment. Max, you can't go out there, baby. No. Ooh. Like, I haven't worn a bandeau that made me feel like this in a really long time. Somehow, some way, it's giving me support. It's pushing my boobies together. It's like keeping them where they should be. I love it. I'm absolutely obsessed. These could also be wrapped around the waist. As I said before, this one could be picked up, twirled around, and put around the neck. So she's versatile. The boning in the side is not uncomfortable at all. Sometimes you'll find that with boning, it pokes over here, and it's not doing that. So, great. And then the back of this one, I mean, cute, right? This is definitely peach approved. I understand why Tash chose this as her reveal bikini, because... It's a 10 out of 10 for me. I can't wait to take some pickies on Instagram and show y'all. But yeah, I would 110% wear this if I went on Love Island. I think that it is straight size, mid size, plus size approved through and through. Now I'm extra nervous because I don't know if you can tell, but we are using my brand new mic right now. I've changed up the settings of the ISO and whatnot because I think I was doing it wrong, so it goes nothing. But I thought that we could stay on the train of the beginning kind of phases of Love Island. So I don't know what they're called, but it's usually like when just before it's about to air, they just like preview everyone and introduce you. And then in their photos, they are wearing specific swimming costumes. So. This was the one that Gemma was wearing. I'm Gemma, I'm 19, I'm a business owner and international dressage rider from Chester. And it's actually a stunning piece and I'm obsessed with the colour. A few of the girls actually wore it, I think India wore it, but she wore it with different bottoms. The top is one of my favourite designs because it's super interesting. This one is from Nina Swim. Over here it's got like a double strap. One that overlays, <gasps> what is that? Oh, it was like my driver's license or something. And then it's got a little tie at the top here as well. And then basically this just like is a class B class at the back, which is pretty good. Like the quality is up to standard, I think. But Nina Swim, very confusingly, is actually O Poly. But I ordered a few swimming costumes from them and one of the orders came from O Poly and the other one came from Nina Swim. So I don't quite know what's going on there, but Anyway, Gemma was wearing these exact bottoms and you know, there's not much to say about them But they did have a version that had like an extra little kind of like g-stringy thong Which I thought oof, that would have been so much nicer, but I did these things for you guys because I love you It does look a little bit small. I think I got this in an extra large Yeah, that's in an extra large and it is a Brazilian cut so I think that this Lumo kind of color looks bomb with like dark skin tones and also like a good tan. So I don't have either of those right now. <laughs> so here's my thing. Megs. Mm, mm, mm. This one is disappointing, man. I was rooting for this one. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? I was just about to say that I never really win with underwire bikinis. But if you go and watch my Skims swim haul, I found the perfect one. So it is possible. Almost every time, and it's probably because it's too small, but like it lifts over here. It's not filling my boobs at all. I literally have like 
two, four, six boobs right now. Minus one, that's three quick maths. And I'm not trying to be an alien. So this is an absolute no. Like the problem also with the design is that you've got this cup, right? Then you've got this on top of that that is like squishing it down. So it's literally forcing your boobs to try and escape the ship. But if you had little boobs or fake boobs, little boobs, woof, it would look bomb. And you can see that I extended the straps all the way to the bottom. And I don't think that's how swimwear is meant to function. Ah, uh, the bottom is a pretty average. Like, there's nothing wow about them. One annoying thing is that they keep kind of like rolling down. The bottoms, this is pretty much like a thong for me right now. But the material feels nice. I will say that. I personally would not choose this one at all <laughs> to wear on Love Island as a plus size body. And to be completely fair, Gemma is one of the most beautiful girls out there. You could see that it wasn't fitting her properly. If you want to buy any of the swimwear, it will be on my Yaga page, which I will link down there for you. I'm going to do a whole bunch of swimwear. That's Skims, Frankies, everybody in the building. No bueno. No bueno. So this is one of the pieces that like, I'm a little bit like, mm, buy. And even so more now that I know what the material is because I did not expect this. And it's really confusing me. But this is one of Paige's. I'm Paige, I'm 24, and I'm a paramedic from Swansea. And India's bikinis that they wore quite a bit. And I just thought that it was like going to be a normal kind of um, straight up material. But if you have a look, they are actually, can you actually see it? It's like sequins. This is not giving me snake print, guys. This is giving me more like leopard. Like... Maybe it is a bit of a snake. Let me know in the comments if this is snake or leopard, please. It's a bit like out there for me. Um, I love Lumo as we just spoke about before. So I like the little trim. I think it's cool. And I'm always a big fan of like a tie side bikini. And th these ones are quite long and fun. So you can do lots of extra things with them. Um, it looks like it'll fit. I think these ones were the ones I struggled with sizing. Okay, so this is a 16. So fair enough. I'm more like an 18 nowadays. This one I think is the wrong size. Yeah, this is in a size 12. I can't remember the last time I today's or a size 12, but yellow. Yeah, this is more of like a bralette kind of design. You see over there, it would just like connect at the back. You tie a little bow and then you can adjust the straps over here. Um, I mean, these are like decent. This is from the brand called uh, South Beach. I don't know what this is going to look like on my boobies, but let's see. Oh no. <laughs> Ew. This is not the one. The coverage in the front is very minimal, like very minimal. So I'm just going to stand like this pretty much the whole time. I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this on a beach because one way then boom, it's a poncho. I do love the accent of this Luma Green, but now that I think about it, I think that these are excessively long, like too long, like irritating long, like you think that you have an octopus swimming on you long. The back is also very small, so please forgive me, um, but... Even when I pull it like that away, oh, it's not that bad. Yeah, and then the top, the top does not fit, if you cannot tell already. Uh, I had to like really pull it all the way across for there to be coverage over my areolas. And these are not like giving any support. I feel, if anything, they're actually like parting my tits like the Red Sea. But it's a size 12, so we knew that this was going to happen, but I... This would not be my top pick. Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily think that it's not plus size approved because one thing we need to remember with this whole video, like me saying that it is or isn't doesn't mean that it is or isn't. Because of this, I don't think that it's plus approved. And this is a 16, so it should cover the cooch, but it doesn't. So I don't think so. I don't think so. Support wise, coverage wise, nah, it's not. It's really not. Because we already know the fiasco that this video has been so far. Just to add to it, I had a look at this one now and I clearly was not very agile when I was taking it off because I got makeup all over it. But I think that this is the one that I was most excited by and it looked absolutely banging on India. I'm India, I'm 23 and I'm a hotel waitress from London. 
It is exactly the same as Gemma's swimming costume. Same company, Nina Swim. I got this one in an extra large. Same color, everything is the same, but the cut. You guys know I'm a fan for weird and wonderful designs. And then this is just a cool, I think I think you call it a tankini. And then you got a cut out tummy. And then on the side here, you have that same kind of double strap, but on the one side of the swimming cozy. <sighs> guys, these straps are not up to par. Like, they are really, really flimsy. There's barely any elastic. I think it's literally just material. I don't think that there's an elastic in there. These are not going to give you support if you have big old biddies. But like, look how tiny the clasps are. I mean, they tried over here. They've got a little bit of gooey stuff on the right hand side so that it doesn't slip down, which I can appreciate. Look good on the model, you know? Look good on India. Hope it looks good on me. No ways, guys. These Nina bikinis are not it. I really thought that this was going to be a top contender and it is clearly in last place right now because the fit is terrible. It's doing all the wrong things. Like, there's a lot of problems here. You are a liar, actress. These aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Like, they're supposed to just be, like, sitting there like two pieces, you know? But they keep rolling down and they're not giving what I think they were supposed to give, like you can see now. You know I was talking about the boob tape thingy? The whole like thing is out now. It's meant to be like that. And then you can maybe say I'm too tall for the costume. But I'm tall for pretty much everything. The straps that are pretty much at their extremities right now. It is literally Borat in the back as well. Um, so not family appropriate either. It's just an absolute no for me. Like, this one shocked me. Like, for real, for real. I thought that this was gonna be like my 2022 spring get up. It's not peach approved. Very disappointed so far. Nina, Opali. <sighs> then, if you are a lover of Love Island, the, this episode is my favorite ever when they like, they have heart monitors on. And they dress up in like kind of kinky but sometimes really funny swimwear and lingerie and like just dress up clothes and they try and get like everyone's heart rate rates up and it's kind of like exposing and it's juicy and it's funny because some people can't dance and i just love it hey this year she did a baywatch one which i thought was really cute she should have just left the wig man not the wig and this was a piece from Pretty Little Thing. This is a very, very high cut swimwear. And it was on sale. And I even feel like this was part of like a dress up thing. Like I don't necessarily think it's for swimwear, but anyway. It has a really lovely low back. We have um, adjustable straps. These are so much better than the Nina Swim ones even. And I think this was like 10 pounds or something like that. It is going up up north here so be prepared for that and then it is not double lined and it makes sense because it is the price that it is i have never worn a red swimming costume before that i know of so i don't know if like red is see-through or not but i have a feeling it's gonna be let us see if it's gonna be a contender oh la la <laughs> whoa jeez louise i feel naked it's a full swimming costume when I actually just feel naked, more than a bikini. But this, this is definitely see-through, guys. There's no way I'm lifting my little fingies up right now, or I'm just going to blur it out. But, you know, I actually do like the color. I've, as I said, I've never worn a red swimming costume before. It, I was explaining to someone the other day, red, the color red, irritates me. It makes me feel, like, ir irritable. Uh, I don't know if anyone else feels like that. If you do, please let me know in the comments, because I feel like I'm going a bit, uh strange because of it like even in my house i don't have red things and if i do i put them away <laughs> i think that this is fun for fun sake if you get pin up what i'm putting down look how high it's going up like that is like literally <laughs> that is pretty much borat 2.0 i think that it would be fun for dress up vibes but would i even wear this for halloween probably not hmm Hmm. My fave, Ekin Sue. My name is Ekin Sue, I'm 27 years old and I'm from Essex. I'm an actress. 
it's so long since the finale now so i'm sure you guys would have watched it but she is the winner she is the princess the people she's the princess princess of the people and i get it i'm obsessed with her i really didn't like her in the beginning but i just don't think i understood her humor i really struggled to find sizes for any of her swimming costumes a lot of the sizes like um they definitely weren't inclusive and i think they went up to like a size 10 if i'm not mistaken this is the uk by the way thankfully towards the end she had one piece but it is again from nina swim i'm obsessed with orange you guys know life's a peach it is what it is this was also in a large yes but it has a cute little design i will say that they are really winning on the design front of things it's got a little keyhole detail over here that you can tie as tight as you want yeah and it is double lined but again we have these really flimsy straps so that's a bit of a shitty one same exact material it does have boning in the side over here so that's actually good for support sometimes and then the bottoms a nice little cute different bottom so these are the bottoms uh a braziliano probably gonna be a thumb on me on the side it's got like a double little tie over here which is cute because you can fully adjust it to the size of your hips and this was also in an extra large in batch b orange so you know i feel like an orange swimming costume bikini can never make me sound so <sighs> he's hoping okay so we hands down this is the best nina swim one that we've had so far but it's not like max baby what you doing the bottom is probably the best bottom as well because it does have a little bit of coverage over here and i do like the fact that you can adjust the side i think that it's actually a nice aesthetic as well and it does kind of balance a lot more than the india swimsuit the this side is one that's not actually written down which is nice and then the back is pretty much very thongy so I don't know why they call this a Brazilian when I think that this is a thong. But I guess a Brazilian on, on me and a Brazilian on someone else are two different things. Ah, uh, the top is cute. But this is kind of a pointless aesthetic for me. You know, it's kind of like ruching up there and then it might as well just be a bikini. And maybe if you had a fake boob like Ikken, that's why it would look a bit nicer if it's like up there. Not nicer, but like, you know, it's doing what they intended to do. These are also at the extremities right now. This, I feel, ugh, terrible straps, terrible, terrible. It doesn't matter what size you are. This is not poking me in the side, which is good. I like the, that the back is like a nice thick bandeau style. I think that it is somewhat plus approved, but I would wear this. I don't know about the show. I think I would wear it if it was like the last resort and it was raining <laughs> and you couldn't swim outside. So she's not peach approved. And then our second last design ooh, did, 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 is from Pretty Little Thing. It is actually the one that I'm wearing right now. And I'll tell you a bit more about the top when we actually do the haul. But it is just a plain triangle bikini top. And then it comes with a cute little bottom. Ta -da! I think that they call this a tango because of the sides that they aren't like adjustable. It could be wrong, but it's giving Braziliano a little bit. I think that Zebra print was kind of popular last year or the year before, I'm not too sure. This is in a size 16, and then I think that this is in a size 14. I'll double check for you. But this is a monochrome Zebra print mini bikini bottoms. Oh, they're called mini. Yeah. I am a little bit scared that they're not gonna fit because they're not adjustable, like I don't normally rock that way. It is on the thinner side of material, but it is double lined over here. Cute for a festival under something cute you feel the vibes i feel the vibes i love this one more now the second time that i've tried it on i think the first time i tried it on i was just kind of like mm, it's right but now looking at it i'm like hmm i really think it's the pattern i mean it's a little bit tight on the side here and that's genuinely just because of the fact that it's not an adjustable bottom you know what would have been really nice on here if they had like a little bra adjuster but over here because for some reason i get really sore like around where my stretch marks are and i don't want to damage my skin more over there uh, so not the nicest feeling on the hips the top there is a lot to play with over here so you could probably like do a double crisscross over the waist do the thing over here the whole shandies and the top 
I think it fits pretty well. Uh, let's check what size this is. This is a size UK 14. My bum is definitely bumming, but that's new. And I feel like there's definitely enough coverage over here, which is cool. So I mean, for the price that it was and the way that it fits, like I think that this is definitely peach approved number one. And two, I think that I would wear this if I went on to Love Island. What do you guys think? Would you wear this if you went on to Love Island? I think I saved the best for last. This one came in its own little like long house bag with a hanger and everything. And I've never heard of the brand before, but they have the most amazing swimwear and lingerie. I think it's a US brand. It's by the name of Anne Summers and they are inclusive as well. I saw this on Tash and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have that. Not only because of its design, but the color. Guys, you know I'm a sucker. I'm a sucker for orange. This is more of like a blood orange compared to the Ekansu one. The quality on this one is insane. You can just feel it as soon as you touch it. It's thick, it's juicy, it's double lined, it's soft. These are really stretchy and feel so much more supportive than the other uh, ones. Look at the gorgeous like details. It basically comes around in the back like a normal bikini bra and then you tie it on top of that. And then on the side, the right hip, this is where you would fasten a little bow. So it's kind of hard to show you and I think that you can wear this a number of ways but I think we're gonna go over the shoulder here. But I think that this is the perfect piece for someone who's like a little bit too self-conscious to wear a full-on bikini. Let's end this off with a bang. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is what you've been waiting for. What do you mean, Ann Summers? What, what do you actually mean? This is high fashion. This is literally everything that I have ever wanted in a full kind of monokini swim thing. So let's start with the top. There's definitely a good amount of support, but I thought originally that this could either go that side or around the throat. But I think that this is how it's supposed to be worn uh, because it makes the most sense. So there's a little bit of like extra fabric over here, but I think that we're good to go, you know, I don't feel like it's gonna fall out. The... 10 out of 10. I really do like the fact that, you know, you can adjust how thin, or what, I mean, how close together you want these to be. So if you want to show less skin, then you just pull this bad boy real tight and it'll do the job. The back, why I said I don't think I'm wearing it well right is because of that, but I still actually think it looks kind of cool. You can see over here, the clasp is just where I tied everything together and it's doing its job. And then, yeah, the peach is peaching. I love this color. I would wear this through and through. This is all sizes approved, peach approved, Love Island approved. Maybe I should do an Anne Summers haul. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I? Well, 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 that is the end of the haul, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please, please feel free to leave a super thanks, a super sticker, a super anything to support me and my channel. I don't know if you guys watched the Skims one, but I spent a bit too much money and um, I'm going to have to try really hard to make up for it. So if you haven't watched that one or haven't left a comment or anything, please, I beg you to go and watch it. But... If you don't want to, that's cool too. I really appreciate you watching this one. But I hope to be seeing you soon and sending lots of love and light. Stay peachy, people. Bye!